Yo, um, school's out for summer. Buzzing. Uh, yeah, end of the school year, but you don't want to hear about that. Um, it's Eagle Lad Football here. And um, this is a first match reaction. Obviously, we had a preseason game today away to Warsaw. So the game ended. Uh, Warsaw nil, Crystal Palace won. And it was a very, very, very bright start by us. Um, looked like we were trying to move the ball quick. Uh, tried to have a bit more possession in the final third. You know, so um, very, very positive signs. Obviously, first game of preseason, it was crazy hot by the looks of it. So, you know, obviously, it's going to take a bit of a while for players to get up to pace, you know. Um, but no, very, very, very promising signs. Um, we are obviously massively influential at the, um, throughout the game. Um, obviously, playing a bit wider again, which is good to see. Um, it, it was obviously Roy had him playing... As, as a two up front last season, but his best work is always from out wide. So, um, he yeah, has obviously isolating the full back and he had a very, very influential game. And then what I liked about what his game is that he would then drift into pockets, you know, try and find himself on the edge of the box, had, um, had a few shots. Um, and to be fair, the Warsaw keeper made, made a few big, big saves. So fair play to him. Um, a massive observation, actually. It was, it was really, really, really good to see numbers in the box to be fair um when we were attacking there was at least not only the person that was taking a shot but at least two and two other bodies inside the box so um it looks like that's something that Vieira is trying to implement just trying to get more numbers in the box and i guess obviously when you have a shot and there's a parry it would be nice to obviously fall to one of our guys so um positive signs there as well um but when, let's look at the goal in itself came in that like, 40th minute um saha received the ball of mitchell and then he just turns his, the defenders got too tight and he's just rolled him, you know. Um, but then he drives and drives with purpose and that's what he's absolutely good at. Um, Street, Rob Street makes a fantastic run in into the box, points to where he wants the ball, Will finds him. And then to be fair, the poise, you know, and the patience to actually, you know, wait for the perfect time to make that pass. And then the weight of the pass to, to give it back to Saha was a really, really good play, really good football. Good football IQ and um, fair play to Wolf. He slots it into the bottom corner. Um, second half, obviously, massive wholesale changes. Um, but as much as we couldn't get a second goal, there they were they were chances. Half chances at that, but um, most of them were half chances. Uh, but, oh, Raksaki. Raksaki, what a performance. Um, just, just kept driving at the defenders. You know, a um, good footwork, nice, neat, clean uh, ball control. Really, really impressive performance from the young man. Um, and he will be absolutely gutted to not get off a score sheet today. Um, particularly, there was a chance in the second half where he's cut inside and he's just shot straight, straight at the keeper. Um, but like I said, just positive signs. Um, seeing a lot of youth, youth get a game, get some minutes under their belt. Um, so, yeah, Patrick Vieira's first game on the pace. And it, it was a good one. Really, really um, impressive game and fair play to Warsaw they actually did have a massive chance towards the end of the game um, which hit the woodwork um, but we managed to hold out and, and take the 1-0 win so um, positive signs um, and obviously in other news um, we've obviously got Kristen Wilson who's come in under Vieira um, first team coach he's worked with him at, at Man City went, went with him to New York and also to Nice so um, it's obviously someone that Patrick knows, and it's it's good that we've managed to get a first team coach in fairly quickly. Alongside that side, Ayagon, um, our development coach. Uh, this is huge. Um, his his role is to obviously try and be the bridge between the the youth team and the, and the senior squad, you know. Um, and it's 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 exciting times how Patrick's come in and he's he's trying to build on little things around the club. Um, which is extremely, extremely exciting. Um, so looking forward to see see more youth come through the ranks. I know a lot of youth on the bench today as well. And we're, we're hoping that continues. So, um, yeah, welcome to obviously Wilson and to Igon, if I've pronounced his name, his name correct. Um, other bits of news, we signed goalkeeper Remy Matthews from Sunderland on the two-year deal. That's all the club that he was recently at was Sunderland. Um, just getting a... Bit more backup, obviously losing Hennessy. Uh, Spironi's retired as well, so um, yeah. He, hopefully, we'll see more of him. But obviously, with VG being number one, 
And we also got, got we've got Jack Atland as well. Um, you know, it, it's good to have a, a third choice keeper. Um, obviously, we need all, every club needs needs backup, and um, we wish him all the best. To be honest. Um, and lastly, last bit of other news: Joe Ward signing a new two-year deal with the club. Um, keeps him with us um, to 2023, so it's now nine years and counting. Massive loyal servant to the club, being instrumental in some of the biggest moments. Obviously, we'll never forget that the goal line clearance against Watford, you know, um, and um, just there's other aspects of his game, you know, that that he's been pivotal for. So, um, yeah, that this is. A uh, quick match reaction and obviously just filtering other news, um, hoping to get more content down to you. And if you're out there and you're a Palace fan, I am looking to do like a, a Palace forum, you know, where we can have um, a call in show and just talk all things Palace. Like, so we look out for that in the near future. And if you are interested in getting on that, hit me up in the, the DMs. Um, and yeah, you know, we'll have you on the show and we'll, we'll talk all things Palace, you know. Um, but yeah, once again, 1-0 victory against Walsall um, this afternoon. Wolf Saha scoring in the 40th minute. And the Patrick Vieira era begins with a win. Eagle Eyed Football here. Like, share, subscribe, turn on your notification bells, all of that. Get the lights up, get the comments up. Keeps the algorithms going, you know, and um, I'll keep uh, working on churning out content for you throughout the season. And especially now that school's out. <laughs> You glad out.